Hello sailors, my name is Naomi and I'm also known as the Desert Sailor with BoatLove.com and I've created this coastal navigation practice question series in order to help you ace your exam. These questions are pretty advanced so if you don't know how to do these things already then I suggest you go and brush up on those techniques and then come back and practice with us later. So today we are going to be looking at everybody's favorite, the running fix. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go step by step. Make sure you have all your tools at, uh, close by and let's get started. How to plot a running fix. Uh, here we are at eight o'clock on September 25th, 2002. You depart the W or A flashing four second bell buoy located about six nautical miles to the southeast point of Judith Point, southeast of Judith Point, you set a course of 313 per ship's uh, compass at 5.2 knots. At 9 o'clock, you take a visual bearing of 027 per ship's compass degrees uh, on Judith Point light. At 9.30, just half an hour later, you take a second bearing of 071 degrees per ship's compass on point Judith light. So using s the same um, light, but at two different places and two different times. So this is why it is a running fix, an RF. Oops. Question. And it says, what's your 930 position? All right, so there's a bunch of little things to do first, but um, We've located where we are generally because we also can see that this is the W or A flashing four second bell and it is south of Judith Point Light which is up here and we are on a course of 313 per ship's compass so we're probably moving this way somehow and then we're taking our bearings off our starboard um, side 27 degrees is one and then the other one is 71, so probably angled that way. So that's my general thing is what I'm looking for. Now let's go to the paper. Some key things I put in right away is the question number <laughs> Q23. That's what we're working on right now. Um, I also then will put in the date. So it's September 25th, 2002. And previously, we've already uh, checked the chart and checked the rose compass, compass rose, and we've seen that it's 1985, and we've done the conversion already, uh, and that was, we found was a, at 2002, was a 16 degree west um, variation and magnetic to true. So that's, I kind of make that little thing, and then I also say I'm kind of um, south, of Judith Point. Alrighty. Um, okay, so then I'm just going to immediately set up my TV MDC table because I know I'm going to have to have all those numbers ready to plot. TV MDC. True vampires make dangerous companions. <laughs> That's how I like to say it. So our heading is 313. Our first bearing on Judith Point light is 027. Our second bearing on Judith Point light is 071. Okay, so uh, at 16 degrees, 16 degrees west, we can just fill the, these in. 16 west, 16 west, 16 west. So for our deviation, we have to fill in all this stuff this way. So for our deviation, we have a table that we were given for our ship at this time. So let's look up the deviation for our course heading. Again, that's terribly written. 313. So it's somewhere between 300 and 330 here, so somewhere between 0 and 1. 13 is going to be closer to 300 
it's only going to be off by 13, whereas 313 to 30 is uh, 17. Yeah, so it's going to be zero. Okay, that's awesome. Deviation is zero degrees. Yay, no specific concern about east or west or adding and subtracting, so the magnetic is just going to be 313. And going this way, west, you subtract, so 313 minus 16, 297 is our course to plot. So that's our course heading, is 297 true. Now our bearings, um, it's also going to be zero. We disregard, we do not look at the deviation table for bearings. It's all just based on the ship's course heading. So that's a little bit of a, um, you know, that could, that could trip you up. And you could start looking up, you know, on the table for 27, and then you'd put in 3W, and that's wrong. So just it's the same deviation as your course heading. So 0, 2, 7 minus 16, 0, 1, 1. And then your next one is 71 minus 16, 55. All right, so these are the ones that you are going to want to plot on the chart. All right, so before we get to that, though, we need to do some math and start looking at um, the speeds. So we departed at 0800. Uh, this one was taken at nine o'clock and this one was taken at 930 so this one was taken and we traveled for one hour and then this was 1.5 hours And you use the decimal hours, not the one hour and 30 minutes, because it's just going to be much easier to calculate. And that's just the way you do it. Okay. So um, the other thing I then want to find out is how much distance did I travel at the speed that I'm traveling at. So the speed we're going at consistently, uh, our boat speed, so we're not thinking about current or leeway, is um, 5.2 knots. So that's 5.2 nautical miles per hour. That's what that means, right? So nautical mile, miles per hour. So how far did I go in one hour? Well, that's easy. I was doing 5.2 knots per hour. So I went the distance here was 5.2 nautical miles. And then I traveled half an hour more, which would be half of that so 5.2 divided by 2 is 2.6. So the entire amount I went was 5.2 plus 2.6. So my total distance that I traveled from 8 o'clock to 9.30 was 7.8 nautical miles. And um, using these like trying to figure out your uh, distance and speed and time, I always like to set it up like this. T, D, S. So if you get confused of like, am I supposed to multiply or divide, then whichever is the one that's missing, then it's easy. So like speed, if I don't know the speed, then I would just go speed equals, move that over, D over T. And then if I don't know T, then I say, okay, T equals, move D over, D over S. And then if I don't know D, then I can say D equals, they're together, and there's going to be a times in that, T times S. So I just always use the TDS. TDS 
easy to remember because it's the desert sailor. Awesome. Okay, let's plot these lines. Okay, so now we have the bearing at 9.30, the bearing at 9 o'clock. We have our DR at 9 o'clock and our DR at 9.30. Um, so what does this all mean? Well, you you know that you end up at 9.30 somewhere along this line, but you have to figure out where and how. <laughs> so we take what's called the average course line, and that you line up with your course, and you move it slightly off of um, the course line, and you have it cross your two bearing lines. So I'm just going to say this is my average course line, my ACL. And you measure, we already know that between 9 o'clock and 9.30, we went 2.6 nautical miles. And so we bring that down to where average course line crosses our 9 o'clock. And we make a little notch here. And so this is intersecting with our average course line. And then we move our 9 o'clock bearing line up to that intersection. With our parallel rules, sliding it up, crossing it. And we draw a line through it, that intersection, and our course line. And we call this the, the advanced line of position between 9 o'clock and 9.30. 0, 900, 0, 930, advance LOP. And where that crosses... The 930 LOP is where we actually are. That's our running fix position. So it's a dot and a circle and an RF 930. I would probably erase this and make it much neater. And then now we have to take the longitude and latitude of this dot. Line it up with the closest latitude line and pass it through that dot, mark it, and mark the question number Q23. And closest longitude, line it up, slide it over through the dot, notch it, Q23. Two, three. And so I came up with 41 degrees, 19.6 minutes north, 71 degrees, 32.8 minutes west. Okay, how'd you do? I am sure you did great. If you want a downloadable PDF of this procedure with diagrams, you can visit my blog on BoatLove.com and search the coastal navigation category and you can see this entire procedure there and download the PDF if you subscribe to the blog. And speaking of other ones, if you want to know when the next practice question is up, be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you get a notification and I will see you the next time. Thanks for watching.